ഫൈനൽ ഓഫ് ദി എപ്പിസോഡ് വി ഹാവ് ബീൻ ഡൂയിങ് വിത്ത് ഡോക്ടർ ശിരോമ ഭണ്ഡാർ ദറ്റ് സീരീസ് ഓഫ് ദ മെറ്റോക്സ് ഐ ഹോപ്പ് യു എൻജോയ് ഇറ്റ് സോ ഫോർ ദിസ് വൺസ് അഗെയിൻ ആസ് ഐ സെഡ് വി ഹാവ് ഡോക്ടർ ശിരോമ ഭണ്ഡാർ ആസ് ദ റിസോഴ്സ് പേഴ്സൺ ആൻഡ് ഫോർ ദ വിവേഴ്സ് who are with us for the first time i would like to introduce you to her she is from uk and uh, she used to be a dentist and she has given up her career long time ago to practice meditation and to teach the others ma'am we warmly welcome you okay. to the mahada and uh, we have been having uh, a lot of discussions and especially our last discussion we touched on paticca samuppada Ma'am, I would like you to start from that point and sort of so that the viewers, perhaps some of them missed our program last time, but they can also, you know, benefit from this. Yes, yes. please. It is indeed very fortunate time again for us to share this Dhamma and uh, uh, benefit immensely with the, just the discussions and share the Dhamma. So I hope this program will also benefit uh, all of you and we all learn from each other. at least little by little we can go down the path and today's topic is a very important piece of dhamma that buddha had uh, taught us and in fact uh, when anand venerable ananda comes to buddha and says uh, oh my teacher this uh, paticca samuppada is so easy and so plain and i can see through it and i can understand it uh, the buddha says uh, do not say so ananda it is very profound very deep and it has so many depths that you need to go to mm-hmm. in fact he says yo paticca samuppada passati so dhammang passati yo dhammang passati so paticca samuppada passati whoever who sees the paticca samuppada has seen the dhamma mm-hmm. so i think it's worth uh, talking a little bit and sharing my experiences uh, of this today um i think we discussed about avijja pachaya sankara we did. link the yes, last we time yes we did talk about the link yes, yes. and um, here i s- want to mention that even though we go down the links each one by one um it's not a linear thing mm-hmm. when it actually happens it's uh, a huge number of forces like multi dimensional forces arising and passing rising and passing mm-hmm. and uh, and then they make links like sankara will appear a few times uh, down the line uh, and it it uh, vijnana appears a few times uh, in the paticca samuppada and they all create links with each other and it's a huge um, uh, multi dimensional forces working mm-hmm. together in a circular or uh, pattern So if you look at it like that and try and um, understand then you can see at the beginning someone will look at it in a linear fashion and then uh, when you meditate on it you discuss more you see the prajna increases bhavana me prajna increases and you will see a depth to each step mm-hmm. and that each step encompass more than the word that it denotes and um, mm-hmm. then you can see those links happening and how everything arises just this moment mm-hmm. and it passes just this moment i so would really appreciate if you can just give us some example ma'am so that yeah. uh, our viewers can uh, understand easily i know everyone yes. likes little stories <laughs> yes because that, uh, that's what the buddha used to do uh, to explain uh, the deep dhamma he used to bring in little stories and little examples Absolutely. for people to understand yes they are yeah? called at the kata arthen dharmen mm-hmm. meaning with the artha and a little story can um, actually um, bring out the meaning much mm-hmm. better than huge amount of words um avijja pacha sankara uh, a good um, example comes to my mind um, if you imagine uh, this is cause and effect 
if this is there, if several causes are there, there is this effect. And yeah. the effect becomes a cause, and cause becomes an effect. Mm -hmm. So it goes on. It's not particularly one cause, it's multitude of causes here. So if you look at it from that sense, um, if someone is watching a movie and you're there and it's dark, in darkness, so um, there is the cine camera at the back and there is this uh, uh, the uh, screen in front and there is the film that goes through the cine camera there and the light is low. So when all these courses are there, the movie falls on the screen and then there are these mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers and they uh, eat and drink and laugh and cry and have their play. It's mm -hmm. a play. So, um, and someone is watching there and so intently even what happens to that person will say, the five aggregates there, mm -hmm. which we call a person watching, get so involved in this as if it is happening to that five aggregates, it's happening to me. Okay. And the person in the audience cries and laughs and jokes and enjoys it as the movie goes on. Um, if you really think about this, isn't this what happens in life? Because mm -hmm. of ignorance, there is these sankharas. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, now if someone comes and puts the light on, um, you can't see a movie there, you don't see anything, it's blank and gone to nothing and uh, the person will say the five aggregates here, it goes to calmness because there's nothing to respond to or have aversion or liking and it's absolutely calm and emptiness because the light came on and the true reality of is shown. So if we put that into Dhamma and see what it means. Uh, if you say darkness is ignorance and uh, from ignorance we make because of ignorance the Sankara. So the darkness is there so it highlights these figures who are uh, play acting and we need the screen and the cine camera and the cine film for this uh, mm -hmm. film to be shown, to be seen. If the cine camera is not there or the, the uh, screen is not there or the film is not there, there is no film. There are no people playing there, a scene, yeah. there is no scene there. Yeah. And if, if the light comes on, there is no scene there. Mm -hmm. So there are four causes, three, four causes that makes this sankara to move and it happens because of avijja because mm -hmm. of ignorance. Mm -hmm. So the minute the ignorance goes and the wisdom comes and uh, it's seen by wi wisdom that there are these causes uh, creating this movie and mm -hmm. it's only a movie, mm -hmm. uh, this, the panchaskanda of the observer doesn't even react and, and it only falls apart as if it's because of causes it came there. When the causes are not there, the scene is not there. Mm -hmm. So, because of avijja, we make sankara and we make it as if it's uh, nitya subha sukha atta, that there is permanent, permanent and pleasurable thing that goes on from moment to moment. So, uh, this is what does ignorance does mm -hmm. to you. So, we don't actually see what actually happens. What actually happens is um, the whole world becomes alive through the mm -hmm. six senses. And at each sense, the, let's say the eye, when you take the eye, the object falls on the eye mm -hmm. and the object arise, the eye arise and the mm -hmm. mind that goes through the eye, chakku vinyana, arise at that moment, just arising and seeing arise mm -hmm. at that particular moment and it passes away to mm -hmm. nothing, completely with no remaining, no remainder. What the mind in its delusion, because the light is off now and in darkness, catches hold of that image that's created at that contact of all these causes arising, yeah. creates that as an object internally in your perception, like a rupa sanya, and starts reacting to it and making sankara. Mm -hmm. So, ignorance uh, created the sankara there. If one in wisdom 
knows that this is what is happening, it felt the eye arose, the seeing arose, because the mind arose at the eye base, and it passed away. That's it. That's pragna, that's wisdom, and you leave it as that. So nothing happens inside, no sankara is created. So in fact, that simply you can break the avijapacha sankara link. Mm -hmm. So easy to say, but how do you do it? How do you do it? That is the thing. Yeah. So if I, it wouldn't be fair for me to talk such profound dhamma and leave everything. So how do we practice that? So I have this beautiful meditation that I'm so lucky to have uh, found it and heard about it and practiced. Okay. Um, it's my teacher again, <laughs> Dr. Matisha Gunatilaka, who mm -hmm. um, uh, introduced it to me. It's called the Mind Movement Meditation. Mm -hmm. Here we watch, uh, I think we have discussed it briefly before, we watch the um, mm. mind arising at the eye base when seeing happens and then as a hearing happens, we are aware of the mind arising at the ear base and then the hearing happens. And as we see now the touch sensation, the carpet is touching my leg and there's touch sensation, the mind has died at the ear base and is now arising at the feet. And again, when I see something, it dies at the feet mm. base and mm. arises <coughs> like um, chakku vinyane at the eye level. Mm -hmm. So when you keep on doing this over and over and over again at retreat conditions, here you don't have to sit somewhere and do this when you're waiting somewhere in a queue, in the doctor's waiting room or out there, outside, you can just open up all your senses and just see how the mind moves from one sense base to the other, arising, dying and arising somewhere else. So, a a very subtle movements very subtle. Mind, you're noticing. Yes, and this, again yeah. a step further deeper, mm -hmm. further back, you can see it dies at the eye base and just before it arrives at the ear base for listening, you actually touch a gap. And when you touch that gap, you will realize that uh, a huge realization of anicca of consciousness, anicca of vijnana, a vijnana rise and passes at each sense base. And uh, again, you let go. If it has died here and now without remainder, you let go at each sense base. I this think you have following. to uh, practice a little to catch those gaps. Yes. Because yes. usually uh, as lay people, as people who are novice to this uh, sort of mind movements, uh, I think uh, these gaps slip without yes, our notice. Yes. So you have to have, you have to practice this to Absolutely. see these gaps mindfully. Yes, yes. that is uh, quite right. And uh, when you do meditate, these, uh, the rewards are there here and now. Mm -hmm. You feel so calm and collected and the mind gets very still and uh, goes to equanimity and yeah. deeper calmness and that is your immediate um, result of that and that itself will be an incentive for you to keep on doing it. You could kind of get addicted to this meditation because you are in reality and there is no dukkha suffering coming, there is no karma hitting you, there is no karma you are making and um, it's, it, no sankara is being made. And here you are in absolute reality. In fact, uh, this is the... You are down to earth. <laughs> yes, <laughs> down to earth. Well down to beyond earth. Beyond earth, <laughs> yes. I would say. And mm -hmm. uh, this is the um, Kamatahan that Buddha gave uh, mm -hmm. Bahya Daru Chiriya as Dikte Diktamanti, Sute Sutamanti, Mute Mutamanti. Uh, this way to seeing as seen and hearing as hearing and feeling as feeling and thinking as thinking. And um, that uh, will most definitely make you realize how ignorance causes the sankara. And having prajna there, uh, you go into sabha sankara samato stage. So um, even these uh, two lights creating a hologram inside the holograms you've seen, mm -hmm. the holograms, and the, those lights are not there, the hologram disappears. So this is where the sankara is made because of the causes. When causes are removed, it's not there. So it's just completely not there because causes are not there. So it's so transient, mm -hmm. so transient. 
and the mind just goes into complete equanimity and complete non-reactive stage there. So, uh, coming down the line, um, Sankara, Pachya, Vijnana. So, when these, if Sankaras are made uh, for through the uh, word, deed and um, the thoughts, Mano Sankara, Chit Sankara or Kai Sankara, Vachi Sankara, uh, the Vijnana gives rise to Nama Rupa because Nama Rupa um, acts uh, to with the thought you go and uh, create do acting the action or the word or the deed or thinking is happens. So, Vijnana gives rise to Nama Rupa and again Nama Rupa gives rise to Vijnana again because mm -hmm. it goes in a like a circle like a little diasulia. Mm -hmm. It's it's um, incoming Vijnana Pachya Nama Rupa and outgoing Nama Rupa Pachya Vijnana. Mm -hmm. Because Vijnana, I want to go there. Vijnana Pachya Nama Rupa. And then Nama Rupa, that falls on my eye and Vijnana is created. Sota Vijnana is created. So Nama Rupa Pachya Vijnana. Mm -hmm. And when, when I see the food, I want to go and eat the food. Mm -hmm. So Vijnana Pachya Nama Rupa. So this goes round and round like a whirlwind, like a diasulia. Mm -hmm. And Diyasulia word reminds me of uh, most venerable Katukurunde Nyanananda Swami Nuhanse, who has written these profound books uh, on the Paticca Samupade. And this Namarupa Pachya Vinyana Vinyana Pachya Namarupa link, he most beautifully explains with the Diyasulia. It goes round and round because one is a cause for the other and the other is a cause for this. So in your ignorance that keeps going on and that makes this um, existent, mm -hmm. the existence. So here, of course, the Nama Rupa Pachya Vinyana acts at sense basis. So Salayatan arise, as we just discussed, and contact arise. So after that, we know the contact gives rise to feeling and Tanha arise. So uh, Tanha de Nupadana, we cling to the uh, greed or the liking and disliking. Um, when you see this a little deeper, coming back to Sankara, mm -hmm. uh, the Sankara, because of this ignorance, the Sankara we said is made from the word thought and deed, mm -hmm. and also it is Sankara, karma is made there. Mm -hmm. And also, Tanha also arises here because of Avijja, because Tanha also is a Sankara. Yeah. And um, and and that propels this forward mm -hmm. as well. So avijja propels it forward from further, and tanha propels it forward with um, uh, the proximate cause mm -hmm. for it, for us for seeing, more seeing, more hearing, more uh, liking to yeah. for the senses to satisfy the senses. Mm -hmm. So um, some teachers say tanha rise later, but I. Can see it's a tanha working at the sankara level itself at mm -hmm. a deeper level, more proximate level there. And also, um, when you think about uh, this, it's got so many links, and um, uh, it's it's working with one another, one propelling each other. Mm -hmm. It's so difficult to look at it in a linear fashion, mm -hmm. circular and multi-dimensional, like like a diamond. When you have a diamond and you look at it mm. through open eye, through all the facets, you can see the Dhamma. It's like um, a whole mass of energy working in a kind of cause and effect fashion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And remove the cause, and the effect is not there. Oh. Mm. So here we are. This is uh, when we discuss it, it's Sutta Menyane, and when we um, meditate on it and start seeing it with these <laughs> meditations like the mind movement or what is some part the meditations being in the present moment. Uh, the seeing will uh, make you see this is existence here and now and when it's not there, there is no existence. Mm -hmm. It is like um, it must be if it's there, if the rising is there, that is arising. If this is arising is not there, that arising is not there. 
That is what I mentioned in the beginning, Imasmin yeah. Sati. Uh, there's a little difference. Okay. That is, if this is so, that is so. Yeah. If this is not so, that is that not is so. Yes. And if this arises, that arises. Right. And if this passes away, that passes away. Mm. One is, um, up, if uh, imas upada idang upajanti, mm -hmm. imas uh, niroda idang nirujanti. Mm -hmm. So, it's slightly different mm -hmm. to the first two you mm -hmm. said. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is existence and when out of the four, two are existence and the other two is non-existence. Mm -hmm. Passing away and niroda and if this is not there, that is not there, mm -hmm. niroda. And if this ceases, that ceases. So, niroda, the reverse of the Paticca mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So. Yeah, now, uh, uh, having talked about Paticca Samuppa there, ma'am, now I think uh, we went to it very deeply and uh, as I requested, uh, uh, you explained it uh, in a lovely example about the movie and went on. Now, how can we, um, how does, you know, the four noble truths are connected yes. to this? Yeah, um, that's a very good question. In fact, okay. uh, I sometimes uh, in discussions when we ask what is uh, avijja or what is uh, ignorance, yeah. the first answer that comes is... Uh, Not knowing the four noble truths. truths. Yeah. So, I'm going to ask you, how how does that then Patija Samuppada connect and how does uh, seeing through Patija Samuppada makes you kind of break, uh, realize the Four Noble Truths. Mm -hmm. So that's a very good question. So in fact the way I understood with gratitude to many teachers mm -hmm. uh, along the way is uh, I understood it as uh, uh, ignorance is not knowing the truth, not knowing reality. Because mm -hmm. of not knowing reality, we okay. keep on making sankara through the word, deed and thought. Mm -hmm. And um, why don't we know the reality? Because we don't know that there is a mentality and materiality working here mm -hmm. together, nama rupa. So, um, and if there is no nama rupa, there is no sankara. Mm -hmm. And nama rupa, we take as nitya and create sankara and there is because of ignorance, the existence comes. And uh, why do we fall into this trap? Because we don't know anicca, dukkha, anatta of nama rupa, mm -hmm. right? And here's the impermanence. Yeah, the depth is when I just say in words, anicca, dukkha, anatta of nama rupa. If we say nama rupa is like rupa vedana, j just say five aggregates: mm -hmm. rupa vedana, sanya, sankara, vinyana. That collectively, um, not knowing that they are arising and passing, not knowing that every arising of a rupa, vedana, sanya, sankar, vinyana is dukkha, not knowing mm -hmm. that uh, abandoning them is where release is, mm -hmm. we create these five aggregates over and over again and mm -hmm. create sankara. Mm -hmm. So here we touch dukkha. Mm -hmm. So here we are not knowing that these five aggregates, sank, kitchena, panchupada, naskanda, dukkha, mm -hmm. Buddha had said. So not knowing that these five aggregates, not knowing the rising and passing of it is dukkha. Mm -hmm. So that is ignorance. Is okay. that not knowing that that is dukkha, not knowing that getting attached to those is uh, having tanha to that creates dukkha, not knowing that release and letting go will give you release um, mm -hmm. from the sansara. Okay. So here we are, that's connected to that. Now we can see that ignorance, how it's kind of connected to the four noble mm -hmm. truths. So again, the question arises on to the other side, how when we see through the Paticca Samuppada, yeah. how dukkha mm -hmm. disappears. Can you see how? It, uh, um, I remember another yeah. occasion, a Buddha is having Dhamma discussion mm -hmm. with Ananda and he uh, points out a different angle of cause, causes and conditions. And he says, asks uh, Ananda, what is the cause of liberation? And he says, um, uh, passionlessness. 
and what is the cause viraga and what is the cause of passionlessness nibida uh, repulsion mm -hmm. and what is the cause of uh, dibida uh, yata bhuta jnana dasanam seeing reality as it is or knowledge and mm -hmm. vision mm -hmm. what is the cause of knowledge and vision concentrated mind because the concentrated samadhi mind will be able to see the reality as it is what is the cause of the concentrated mind inner happiness mm -hmm. and what is the cause of inner happiness uh, bliss and rapture preeti sukha what is the cause of bliss and rapture mm -hmm. joy and uh, what is the cause of joy tranquility passivity mm -hmm. and what is the cause of uh, joy and tranquility it's shraddha faith and what is the cause of faith suffering unsatisfactoriness mm -hmm. dukkha because mm -hmm. one who is in dukkha would go to the dhamma and will build the shraddha and the whole series of that events will happen in your mind till liberation so here he connects it to the paticca samuppade dukkha starting from liberation because of causes coming down to dukkha and what is the cause of dukkha birth jati pi dukkha what is the cause of uh, birth existence bhava what is the cause of existence uh, upadana clinging and so on and so forth and it comes to ignorance mm -hmm. so here on this side is liberation and here on this side is ignorance so because of cause and effect cause and effect how it goes to liberation so we kind of discussed it now and if we um, think about it contemplate and meditate uh, on it and try to see through it there's a huge wisdom that comes up and then your question how does one see through the four noble truths with it i can superficially touch and let Yeah, see how please. I experienced, how I realized so far is um, as you see these uh, causes arising and existence arising and causes passing and the existence passing, remainder is nothing. There's nothing there mm -hmm. and there's nothing worth grasping or rejecting or saying it's mine. and there's no one to say it's mine because it's a series of causes and yeah. effects yeah. out of our control mm -hmm. so you start to see how impermanent it is and there is the um anatta truth of anatta mm -hmm. starts hitting you and here because you can't grab it or keep it uh, it's disappearing you don't give any value to whatever hits you with the six senses okay mm -hmm. and then what that makes what that does okay. is that makes you uh detached from those impinges those transient um pleasures and pains and viraga comes passion as comes viraga viraga anupassana nibida anupassana then you become kalakirana you just don't see any value in it you let go of all that then you start letting go patini sagga mm -hmm. and as you let go you go into release relief freedom and liberation that they don't bother me at all whatever hits my six senses it hits and it passes go. and you let go so viraga anupas anicca anupasana viraga anupasana nibida anupasana patini sagga anupasana then you can if you do touch nibbana there stages of enlightenment mm -hmm. so here you are then the dukkha dukkha the cause of dukkha release and relief is due to that and you let go and mm -hmm. uh, you see the truth yeah. to a certain extent and yeah. then the enlightened being will do keep on doing keep on doing the same practice because you see facets and facets deeper deeper into the same uh, truth okay. until you mm -hmm. reach the arhat Mm -hmm. stage where avijja pacha sankara sankara comes to no construing no creation of sankara at all mm -hmm. and uh, avijja is getting nil to nil mm -hmm. and then the question will arise how does one live if you don't make sankara how does the sankara and arhat 
Vahanse makes, how does that happen if it is not based on avijja? How the sea walk and eat and talk and do this and do that and arahat living in uh, the sopa, the sesa, living here mm -hmm. um, uh, before anupadi sesa stage yeah. without avijja because it's cause and effect avijja creates sankara but mm -hmm. he does sankara. Yeah, he does. Yes. So how does that happen? Yeah. <laughs> So, here it's not based on avijja, uh -huh. we know that for a fact. And um, we actually practice this kind of meditation as well in London. Mm -hmm. And um, this is Venerable Dhammaji Liva Swami Nwansi had given me these Kamatahans at one point or another. We uh, get up in the morning and make this resolution and through the day we go being aware of causes and effects. And being aware, like we did the other day, the walking meditation, mm -hmm. how an intention comes and the body works, how there is a need to fulfill and it's fulfilled. There is a need to be fulfilled, it's fulfilled. There is a need to eat because of hunger, pain, for survival, it's eaten. So there is no avijja, there is no tanha there. So it, we can call it like um, achetanika. Mm -hmm watch the achetanika mm -hmm. uh, sankara, achetanika actions happening. So there is no, I'm going to go and do this because it's tanha. This is because there is a need and it's fulfilled, cause and effect. Mm -hmm. So when you keep on doing that again through the day, morning to night, um, retreat conditions or even during the day, just watch intention to get up, got up intention to go there because of the phone rang, went there. So here is cause and effect, cause and effect, cause and effect happening, cause finishing, effect finishing and uh, and that is just that is what it is happening and achetanika actions. So it's, it's good to try that at home and Definitely. again the benefits are instant mm -hmm. and you live in a beautiful calmness and you don't uh, react or respond to anything and um, uh, the mind goes towards uh, getting rid of keles or mm -hmm. an ashrava removed mm -hmm. and uh, ma maximum amount of benefits you get from there. Wow. <laughs> okay, so um, I think uh, I think that's a wonderful explanation about this uh, connection uh, with the Four Noble Truths. Now since um, uh, ma'am I would like to ask you a question. Have we uh, finished talking about this? Uh, uh, yes, sati? I think. Can yeah. we move into? You like to think? talk about uh, uh, samadhi? We can talk because yeah. uh, uh, we've been talking we about sati. Yeah? Yes, yes, sati please. so much uh, is needed for this. Yeah. Sati sampajanya, which we talk um, a lot uh, lately, and this sati will only be uh, there for to help you mm -hmm. if you actually develop samadhi. Samadhi, sati, and with samaditi, with samaditi, if you practice sa sam samadhi yeah. and then sati will de develop and sati will increase your samadhi and that will increase your samadhi. So it's like a triangle enhancing each other. Yeah. Um, yes, samadhi also we have uh, two ways you can do samatha samadhi or vipassana, vipassana samadhi. samadhi. And uh, vipassana samadhi is a moment to moment watching what is arising, what is passing and the object of what you are watching is in movement. Mm -hmm. But Samatha Samadhi it is a fixed point and you are developing one pointed concentration mm -hmm. and uh, through that you go get into um, access Samadhi, uh, Upachara Samadhi and mm -hmm. Arpana Samadhi, mm -hmm. full fledged Samadhi and that has many benefits too. S because the Samadhi mind again is like a whole energy beam coming yeah. and this energy beam will fork in four different ways. Mm -hmm. One is when you practice Samadhi you will have instant um, happiness here and now, um, Ditta Dhamma Sukha Viharani and then it will as we said the mind will be developed to have uh, Sati Sampajanya and then um, also the mind will be brightened and there will be vision and knowledge 
and also it will be capable of abandoning your defilement. So mm -hmm. it's, it's got many um, advantages developing Samadhi. And uh, Samadhi also, uh, we I think we did a few demonstrations how through the Anapanasati we can do it, through the uh, falling and rising, falling of the belly, you can mm -hmm. do that. Walking meditation, you can uh, develop Samadhi or take a Kasina. Mm -hmm. One kasina light okay. or attika sanya or something and develop, or even um, uh, metta bhavana. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful to go into metta and then allow your mind to expand to the u whole universe and um, just let go, let go to the whole universe. And metta cheto vimukti, you can go to those stages of samadhi. And once you develop, then from there onwards, we can go into jhana levels mm -hmm. yes uh, yeah uh, the beautiful jhana levels that uh, people do enjoy that uh, meditators do enjoy absolutely yes. there's no harm in enjoying it as you don't as long as you don't get hooked on to yeah, it no clinging clinging because you can use it as uh, when you're crossing a bridge it's mm -hmm. the railing you hang on to to cross the bridge and you let go of the railing and jhanas you can use like that mm -hmm. because uh, when you develop the mind to that level, it's like sharpening your um, sword or the knife so that you can go and cut through the defilements in your mind. Mm -hmm. So it's like sharpening the mind and uh, making very, uh, very acute and very strong and powerful mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. So um, you can go to the first jhana and uh, you might get the light and beautiful inner happiness. And then you concentrate on the light and get absorbed to the light. And um, you can get locked in the light, like as if you're being um, set, like the kiri penny in the kiri hut here. Mm -hmm. You're set in curd, like that. Your mind is set. And it doesn't have any, it's d so detached, it doesn't have any connection to the body or any environment. It's there, just there. And without effort, it's just there. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful state of jhana with bliss. And of course, this um, vitaka vichara priti sukha ekagata, the, um, the first five, jhana. yes, yeah. of that will subdue the pa panchanivarana. Mm -hmm. So you won't have the kama raga vyapadati in the mid udachukukucho or vichikicha uh, there, because those five will be subdued, these five will rise up. Mm -hmm. in Just subdued? Uh, yes, subdued, mm -hmm. because it is. Um, uh, like putting a rubber ball under water, mm. it's just and holding subject. it there without yes. letting it just come up. Come up, okay. and they are called uh, pariyutana keles. And uh, we think of keles in sila, you get rid of the gross one. These are like when you're sitting there, what comes up, no one can see pariyutana keles, so that's subdued. And mm -hmm. of course, with vipassana, you have to uproot and get rid of all the anushya, ashrava, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. those keles, so that is. Um, uh, that yeah. so even that states are um, Mahagata Chitta Buddha had called these chittas they are beautiful you know happiness calmness clarity a huge number of advantages mm -hmm. and and then you know from first to go to the fourth jhana mm -hmm. you allow these let go of vitaka vichara mm -hmm. and you have preeti sukha and ekagata you could actually feel them preeti sukha ekakada and yeah. you're there and then you're there until you are there no hurry as and then you see how that feel that kind of boring now is this dukkha even in that stage and mm -hmm. it's anicca it's changing it can come it can go it can disappear and then you just let go of preeti which come comes to hit you like very gross and there's beautiful sukha ekagata, mm -hmm. very subtle. And you're there. Most arahat, someone, some teacher told me, most of the time, opt to stay in that stage with sukha ekagata, mm -hmm. sukha viharini. And uh, then you let go of sukha and you're in just pure calmness. Mm -hmm. And it's unshaken, unstirred, mm -hmm. concentrated mind, full of clarity, and uh, uh, one-pointed. That's the fourth jhana. Here you can practice to stay there 45 minutes or one hour or as long as you want, just being there. 
without a rush to go anywhere, no expectations, just be. We have to learn to just be. Just it's so be difficult there. to just be. We have but to I think talk. once you reach the level, I think uh, you will be there because it's such a bliss that yeah. you have never ever experienced mm. before. Yes, our problem is we don't know how to be. Yeah. <laughs> we okay. want to do That's all true. the time. So just be and do nothing, just be. So and uh, you practice mm. being there. And then from there onwards, if you want to go to the six, seven, eight, it's like an extension of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that I have been um, told, you, know, you do it with Adhisthana. Mm -hmm. Let my mind go to the f uh, uh, Akasanya Yatana, mm -hmm. that uh, Dhyana. Mm -hmm. And uh, you allow it to just release it to go. And it just goes and it's with the Akasa. The, the space. It, yeah, it mm -hmm. Akasa. And then it goes to Vijnana um, uh, and that, that goes to space. Mm -hmm. The whole Vijnana goes to space and allow mm -hmm. that to go. Okay. And uh, one by one, the stages you can go Akincha Yatana and Neva Sanya, Nasanya Yatana. And these stages, um, if, if your mind is capable of going to jhanas, and if, you're, if you like doing it, if you have an affinity to do it, do it. And there's no harm in doing it. You know what you're doing. You know these stages are nicha. And you're experimenting with your mind. And you, the power of the mind comes out. It will only help your uh, satya for those profound meditations we just talked about. Okay, yeah. And also <coughs> going there, you do an adhisthana and you go there. Then pariuttana mm -hmm. keeps you there. Sampasa, you enjoy and experience it. Then avarjana and pratyavekshana. Those yeah. five qualities, you pratyavekshana. Recall and... Yeah, and that, mm -hmm. that you're there. Mm -hmm. Then you let go of that and you adhisthana to the next stage. Okay. So, and then you can do vashikarana, that is you master your jhanas. That is you go to the third jhana and you drop down to the second jhana. Or you go to the fourth jhana in complete equanimity and then you start feeling the sukha again, mm -hmm. come down to third. And then <laughs> you can master it by saying, now I'm going in, just time it. Five minutes later, you're coming out. Or, and now you're coming out, now you're going in. So as and when you will, your mind wills it to happen. Your mind wills it's it like to happen. It's like you're programming your mind, sort of. Uh, you're training your mind. Training. Yeah. Okay. You're training, training your mind, yes. And yeah. uh, one might ask, what is the use of doing all that? Mm -hmm. And believe me, I'll say there's millions, millions, because you catch your defilements as it comes. You're so alert and your s mindfulness increase thousandfold. And uh, you will be able to s just get the, the mind trained so much. Mm -hmm. And your vision will improve knowledge and vision, cutting through defilements. Yeah. And it, it is just a beautiful tool that you have sharpened mm -hmm. for your path mm -hmm. to freedom. OK. So that's yeah. And if we talk about the vipassana? Yes, uh, vipassana side, um, very briefly, yeah. the samadhi again in um, a sutra, Sangyutta Nikaya Samadhi Sutra. Uh, the Buddha mentions uh, why do this one develop this samadhi, develop vipassana samadhi, developing samadhi for discernment of uh, arising or origination of rupa, vedana, sanya, sankara, vijnana, which is of course arising of dukkha. Yeah. Yeah. And then develop your samadhi for the discernment of passing away mm -hmm. of rupa, vedana, sanya, sankara, vijnana, right? Okay. And you get cessation of the five aggregates mm -hmm. and you see the cessation of dukkha. So origination of seeing the five aggregates, you see mm -hmm. the origination arising of dukkha. Okay and seeing the cessation of the five aggregates. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see the cessation of Dukkha. Silavanta Sutra comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. It's a discussion between um, uh, Saryut Maharatan Mahanse and Kottita Maharatan Mahanse. Okay. So these Arahat 
hearts, great yes. arahats must have been having beautiful Dhamma mm -hmm. discussions even at that time. Yes. And Mahakottita Maharatanwase asks this question, uh, what, uh, what way, what thing should one contemplate on? Mm -hmm. um, uh, and for right contemplation for Yoniso Manasikara. And uh, Sariyut Maharatan Mahanse uh, explains one should have right contemplation on the rising of the five aggregates mm -hmm. and the passing away of the five aggregates. Mm -hmm. And the one who does that will most definitely enter the stream, will become a stream entrant. Mm -hmm. And uh, then Mankuti Tiratanvasi asks, uh, what should, how should a uh, stream entrant have right mm -hmm. contemplation? Mm -hmm. And he says the same thing, mm -hmm. stream entrant should have con right contemplation on arising of the five aggregates and passing away of the five aggregates. Mm -hmm. And most definitely mm, the stream entrant will the become The stream a non entrant in the sense of uh, Sotapatti. So Person, person will become yeah. an agami non-returner. Mm -hmm. And the same question is asked, the same answer is given, the non-returner will become an arahat. So mm -hmm. that all is from a samadhi mind, it's a samadhi sutra in Sangita yeah. Nikaya, how profound it is. Mm -hmm. And here again we touched on the fact that dukkha, jatipi dukkha, mm -hmm. arising of dukkha, birth of dukkha mm -hmm. is of birth of a rupa birth of a Vedana, mm -hmm. birth of a Sanya, birth of a Sankara, birth mm -hmm. of Vijnana. And cessation of that is cessation of the five aggregates. Mm -hmm. So cessation of Nama Rupa is Nibbana. And s hence these words to describe Nibbana, ag Agata, um, Asanyata, Asankata, and uh, Avinja, Mm -hmm. And there is no vijnana there, asankata, asanyata. Um, Akata, asankata. Yes. yes. So all that, no rupa, no vedana, no sanya, no sankara, no vijnana. Relief Just and relief. Relief and the supreme bliss. Yes. And that actually gives me so much uh, shraddha yeah. when we talk about it even and realizing all these truths. Again, like Buddha Dhamma Sangha is not out there. Mm -hmm. When you realize this profound Dhamma, Buddha is right now, <laughs> here and now in you. Dhamma is in you and Sangha is, you become Sangha. Okay. And uh, Buddha is in you, Dhamma is in you and Sangha is in you. And Nibbana is right under your nose. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely. So thank you very much, ma'am, for that profound, precise discussion. As I said, uh, folks, this is the last of the series uh, that we have had, series of Dhamma Hadaya we have had with Dr. Shiroma Bandara. Very soon she'll be returning to UK. But then again, she'll come back and she'll be talking to us once again uh, after some time. Ma'am, I'm sure now through our discussion, we, we talked a lot and um, I'm sure viewers do have a lot of questions in mind and especially uh, when we discussed about the Paticca Samuppada and the connection of the Chaturarya Satya because as you said, like the first answer we get when you ask someone what is Avijja that is not knowing uh, the Four Noble Truths. but uh, today I think you explained it very well, the connection between the Four Noble Truths. But our, our viewers might have questions because, you know, they might, uh, some of them might be, uh, um, need further clarifications. So, uh, would you like to give them your email address? Yes, of course. Please. It's uh, shiroma at hotmail.co.uk. That is S-H-I-R-O-M-A at hotmail.co.uk. Well, thank you so much and while uh, writing to Dr. Shiroma, if you have any, any, um, you know, comments about our program, Dhamma Hade, please write to our usual address, the producer, uh, Dhamma Hade, Sri Sambodhi Bihara, Gregory's Road, Kalambo 7. And thank you so much, ma'am. May this uh, Kusila Kamma, as I always say, contributes towards 
nibbana in this very life if possible sadhu 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 and if i may say i like to transfer all these merits to all my teachers who okay. have made me come here today to this um, stage of uh, realizations thank you i think gratitude uh, was also the first lesson given to us by lord buddha thank you so much ma'am for that and we were please be with us for yet another fruitful discussion next week until that take very good care and do practice the dhamma may the most noble triple gem bless you <laughs>